Think you know everything about Stardew Valley? Think again. In this video, I'm unveiling some hidden gems and surprising features that even the most seasoned players might have missed. We all need hardwood in the morning. Fortunately, you can get it earlier by using a chair to skip this log at the secret forest. Want to get an Iridium Crowis statue on the second day in your playthrough? Just spam your scythe right over here until you are out of bounds. Easy, right? Need key gems? Well, just find many golden walnuts. Open up this chat window and type slash recount nuts. Then trade those extra golden walnuts in for key gems. Magic. Want to max your milker's friendship within a couple minutes? Milk them, cancel the milking, and then continue continue milking guaranteed max friendship in no time item id glitch name your character this then give clint a call when he says your name you'll magically get items that you can then sell for straight cash more forageables will not spawn after a rainy day luck does not affect loot and coins in journey of the prairie king selling items at the shipping bin will make you the same amount of money as selling them straight to pierre speed buffs only increase your movement speed not your attack speed this is quite unfortunate holding a rabbit's foot in your inventory it will not increase your luck, that is just silly. You won't lose any items from passing out in the mines, only from being defeated in battle. Night events are not rare and lucky, they are predetermined and you can actually look up your save file to see when they might occur. The same is true for geodes, you can tell exactly when you might get a prismatic shard. Once you have married Leah, you can use her cottage to store things like kegs. The key to the town will allow you to buy things from shopkeepers at 6am and in Clint's case even at 1am in in the morning. You need to use tree fertilizer when growing regular trees, these will tremendously speed up their growing time. Combining a hot java ring and a burglar ring will get you more coffee than you will ever know what to do with. Using a rain totem on a stormy day will cause the next day to be stormy as well. Do this constantly to swim in battery packs. I've teamed up with Pocket Champs to bring you an exclusive offer and introduce you to an incredible game that's bound to keep you entertained for hours. Pocket Champs puts you in the driver's seat as the coach trainer and mastermind behind it all. Your mission? Train up your champion to dominate and compete in thrilling races against other players. With stunning unique tracks presenting their own challenges, victory is not just about speed, it's about strategy and skill. Elevate your champion's ability in climbing, running, flying and swimming, but here's a twist, your decisions matter. Choose from over 40 different gadgets to enhance your champion's performance and customize their look with exclusive skins earned through gameplay. Train watch your champion triumph, collect rare rewards and aim for the top spot on the leaderboard as the ultimate coach. Ready to dive in? Download Pocket Champs using the link in the description or scan the QR code. As a special bonus, if you download before November 30th, you'll receive a starter pack with 500 gems and an exclusive monkey skin. You will receive these gifts on December 1st. Do not miss out on this limited time opportunity. Most of the festivals are not that fun, but the annual potluck is important. Providing the best ingredient will increase your friendship with the entire town. Butterfly hutches can stack. Look at how many butterflies I have in my tiny little house. You will get tons of bone fragments from the dig site, but aren't they useless? Well, not quite. Drop them into a bone mill to turn simple bones into valuable fertilizers. With crystallariums, you can duplicate two quartz per day. Quartz can be traded for bombs at the desert trader, a very good alternative to the slingshot. Want to break up with your lover? Buy a bouquet, drop it into a furnace and get a wilted bouquet then give that to your now former lover. You can place gates next to each other to get a bigger better gate. You can also place torches on fences. You will get one free magic rock candy at the museum. Use it if you didn't find many prismatic shards in the skull cavern. Reset and try again. Ostrich eggs will retain their quality and they create 10 mayo at a time. Abuse this. A single iridium egg can make you more than 5,000 gold. Infested floors suck. Oil of garlic will make it impossible to find an infested the floor in the skull cavern this can be a game changer sturdy rings are really easy to craft yes they are useless but they do sell for 750 gold each quite reliable for early game money you know the item id glitch that lets you spawn in items by using ids as your name most people use this glitch to get items to sell for maximum profit but there is a much better use for these use the code 803 to get iridium milk this will increase your maximum health you will be unkillable then use the code 434 to spawn 
born in star drops increasing your energy you will be unstoppable plant crops quicker by holding on the interact key eating some speed buffs and running all over your soil no need to aim you can harvest crops and plant new seeds at the same time doing this will cause time to be paused you can plant entire acres of crops without a single hour going by use the agriculturist profession to make your crops grow faster then change your profession to the artisan profession to maximize your gains the pier stockless will allow you to get any seed no matter the season they do cost more though so keep that in mind crops that take longer to grow generally make more money so don't waste too much time planting fields and fields of wheat build a fish pond fill it up with crabs wanted this full speak to willy he will give you a pearl one of the rarest items in the game these are all of the emotes that you know and love you can find these by simply pressing the emote wheel however there are three hidden emotes that you can only access by typing them into the chat jar music and taunt do you need an ancient food seed just drop some crops into a seed maker use crops that have high yields like blueberries eventually you won't get a blueberry seed instead you'll get a lucrative ancient fruit seed if you turn your children into doves and then check the tv on the 26th of fall you'll get a very spooky message after seeing this the witch's cabin will have strange dolls those are your ex-children crows will yoink your crops if you don't use scarecrows however crows will not steal crops planted using wild seeds too bad these are kind of worthless have many sheds filled with kegs and don't know when they are all ready place a keg right outside the shed now you can easily tell if those kegs are ready for collecting the art for enchantment combined with the acrobat profession will allow you to absolutely spam your special move on your daggers and even on your overpowered hammer stockpile all of your mixed seeds don't trash them do not use them on your farm instead use them exclusively on your ginger island farm these can turn into pineapples one of the better crops in the game do you need many wild seeds to craft tons of tea saplings to then sell and become rich just grab those garbage mushrooms from the mushroom cave and drop them into seed makers infinite wild seed mechanism if you plant regrowable crops in fall and they all die in winter do not clear the dead crops if you leave them like this then when winter hits you won't need to reho all of this farmland the island ingredient quest will give you the ability to craft solar panels these are incredible they will produce a battery pack every seven days regardless of the season nice the prismatic jelly quest is by far one of the most important in this game the reward is monster mask this stuff will allow you to farm and grind loot in the mines the community cleanup quest is very important you need fiber and fiber is kind of hard to find being able to plant fiber seeds is insane you will never run out again the cave patrol quest will reward you with the geode crusher this thing will allow you to get another prismatic shot whenever you crack one open at clint the last and most important quest is gifts for george this will get you an espresso machine getting in your morning load has never been easier a prismatic shot inside of a junimo hut will cause prismatic junimos additionally if your junimo hut is full those junimos will just drop them on the floor like savages trellis crops are annoying they will block your path and make sure you have a bad day junimos don't care about all of that they can walk through those trellis crops with no problem if you didn't get enough candles to get a magical iridium creation statue drop a diamond on your grandfather's altar for a re-evaluation need star tokens just bet half of your star tokens on green at this wheel green has a higher likelihood of winning you'll have more than enough in no time fertilizers will cause you to harvest high quality crops however they will only affect the first crop for multi-harvesting crops like blueberries repeat floor 10 in the mines to find more copper ore than you will ever need floor 41 can be used to farm an astronomical amount of iron ore and you'll also find dust sprites that you can murder for coal floor 81 is by far the best floor to find tons of gold ore bring bombs and enjoy being wealthy need prismatic shards just farm for iridium ore in the skull cavern each node has a four percent chance to drop a prismatic shard easy floor one in the dangerous version of the mines can be abused for radioactive ore this once rare resource is now in abundance unstoppable in stardew valley combine two crab shell rings with a phoenix ring and a ring of yoba wear the dragon scale boots enhance a dwarf dagger with three topazes eat some pumpkin soup now you will take absolutely no damage from enemies and if you do happen to die you'll be revived you won't ever need to bring food into the mines again don't forget to download pocket champs before the 30th of november to get a massive head start on your competition by clicking the link in the description watch this video next about every mistake you need to avoid in stardew valley thanks for watching but for now i will see you in the next video